Latest reports from UEA are suggesting multiple disturbances on the university grounds. Our reporter Rachel is at the scene now. Rachel, what can you tell us? Yes, well, reports are sketchy at this point, but I've spoken to people who have claimed to have seen individuals assaulting members of the public in unprovoked attacks. Some of the attackers are even to believe to be academic staff from the university. We will, as ever, keep you posted on any further developments. Thanks, Rachel. Whilst we await further news, as you may be aware, UEA is 50 years old this year, and to celebrate, the East Anglian Film Archive have put together a selection of clips showcasing the region over the past 50 years. Next in the Inspiring Ideas Zone, Professor Corinne Le Carre talks about her experience and the information discussed at this year's IPCC meeting in Stockholm. Oh, we are now getting reports in from our correspondent on UEA campus who has spoken to the Vice-Chancellor and UEA's campus security about the developing situation. Uh, Vice-Chancellor, is there any truth to the rumour that a rare and lethal strain of the ZOM1 virus has been detected on UEA campus? Well, what I can tell you is that our scientists in the School of Biological Science are looking into this matter, but at the moment I can't confirm or deny it. Um, what I can say is that nobody on the campus should have any cause for concern. What precautions and contingencies does UEA have in place in the case of an outbreak of zombies? Well, both our security and our press teams are fully briefed, and um, as you know, Norwich is about the safest city in England will continue to be so. Have you done anything to prevent students and staff being eaten by zombies? We've taken the necessary um, sort of contingency moves, but at the moment I can't confirm or deny there's any such threat. So are you officially denying the existence of a zombie threat? No, I'm neither confirming nor denying. I'm underlining that nobody on campus should have any anxieties. In the event of a zombie attack, will students be allowed in your own personal, well-stocked anti-zombie bunker? I think that's, that's about enough. So, so you're denying the fact that you have a zombie I'm bunker? I'm confirming your denial. So, so that's no, then? So what preventative measures have security at UEA taken in response to the rumours of a zombie outbreak in the area? Well, we have installed heat sensors on all CCTV cameras and are monitoring people as they come onto campus and whilst they are on campus. Anyone presenting without a heat signature will be severely dealt with. Staff have also had away days and have been fully trained in identifying the infected. What measures do you have in place in the event of an outbreak of zombies does occur on the UEA campus? Staff have been well trained in the use of specialist equipment in order to deal with the undead. We have also arranged safe zones which, be, which will be made public in the event of an attack. Livewire will broadcast these areas when necessary and entry will only be allowed upon presenting a full medical examination. So what are the planned evacuation routes off campus? Well you may have noticed in the last six months there's been a lot of building work around campus. Well I can now confirm that these sites are the openings to a network of tunnels leading in a number of directions out of the area. Once you're in a designated safe zone you will be given a wristband which will, be de which will then determine the exit tunnel allocated to you. Okay, so are security forces at the UEA confident that they can keep staff and students safe in the event of a zombie attack? Without a doubt. We have seen night, dawn, day, including the remakes, and we have a poster of Rick Grimes in the security lodge. We are fully aware what the dangers are, and rest assured we live by the golden rule. So aim for the head. Breaking news coming into us here. An outbreak has occurred on UEA campus. We go back to our reporter who's at the scene now. Rachel... Can you update us with any new information? Yes, Jay, we have confirmed sightings of the Walking Dead. <coughs> are now fleeing the area in mass panic. Emergency services are reportedly heading towards the university. <coughs> uh, apologies for that. We'll get back to Rachel as soon as possible. In the meantime, the cafe conversations continue in the library with talks from Professor Nick Selby and Dr. Rebecca Tillett in the reading room on Rachel Carson's 1962 expose on the destruction caused by pesticides. While in the group study space, a discussion led by Professor Marion Brandon and Professor Gillian Schofield, focusing on the challenges faced by social workers since Baby P. 
both of which begin at 12pm. Don't forget to also check out other areas at UEA today, including the Norfolk Firework Volcano, which is due to erupt later this evening. We'll keep you updated on its status throughout the day. So coming up now in the Inspiring Ideas Zone, 